I trust no one with bat wings coming out of their feet. Hey! What's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Legacy Voyager Class G Axis! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front here. We have a nice image of G Axis in his jet mode from the G2 universe, and yes, he is a Voyager Class, a Class of Voyager, Voyager Class A, Class of Yahed, and a Class A Voyager. On this side of the box, we have the lovely legacy artwork on this side we have Jihaxis and more of Jihaxis up top legacy on the bottom words things mark goes on the back of the box you have your obligatory product shots and that's basically it for the packaging Man, moving right along here we have Jihaxis and uh yeah we have another G2e figure here in our mitt, a character I didn't think we were going to get a figure of, but here he is, and uh, quite a nicely done figure, in my opinion. But let's get in close here, so we can take a look not at his G-Croxus, but at his G-Noggin, as the G-Axis Noggin, and see, nicely done head sculpt there. Nice yellow for the face, the eyes are done in green, got some green here for the sensor, got the G2 symbol there on his chest. Just done in yellow with like a little bit of well, like a silver ish right there. See so a chest done in a tinted transclearance plastic. You got some nice detail there on the arms. And overall, nice looking mold here. I love all this going on here in the shins. Picked out in silver paint. Looks really cool. Little wings there. On the sides, his big old feet, and move up the back. You can see very nice, clean transformation. Just has the wings going on back there, and no hollow bits. Everything is covered up quite nicely in robot mode. So overall, I think he looks quite, quite good. Now, articulation-wise, uh, the head is on a ball joint. So you have your wiggly waggly. You can look up a little bit, look down a little bit, and it can do a full 360 arms. Can do a full 360, the wings are kind of in the way, but they can do a full 360, can move in and out, you can disengage that and have that going on, that's more for transformation, but things you can do if you want to do it. You got bicep rotation, you have over 90 degrees of a bend there at the elbow, you do have wrist rotation, uh, the hands can open and close, which is nice, um, you do have waist rotation, legs can move forward that far, you can do the big boot, back about that far outward. You can get about that far. You got thigh rotation. Got a nice deep knee bend there. And the feet, they can move up, they can move down, and you have your ankle tiltage. Now, as far as accessories go, he includes some weaponry. He has this big old blaster right here. Just cast in red. Some nice detail. Unfortunately, none of it picked out in paints, but still nicely detailed blaster right there. You also get a smaller blaster that's done in all transclear and plastic. They have some metal gray painted on it. Again, some nice detail. A couple things you can do here. If you want, you can just plug this gun onto this gun, and you can store all of this on his back. Hooray for storage, if storage is something you care about. Or, of course, you can have him wielding his weapons. You just plug those in, like so, and like so, and he can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang, and all of that good stuff right there. And I'm sure you're wondering, is it Blush compatible? Yes, it is Blush compatible, kind of, well, yes and kind of. Pretty much, yes, again, this gun, yes, this gun, you can totally plug that in. This gun, it does have the nub before it, it kind of holds on, not securely, but kind of, sort of, eh. Can't, can't hold it up either. But you know, there you go. You can kind of do a big old G axing. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So yeah, no, it's blue compatible and kind of blue compatible at the same time. But you know, still things, things and stuff you can do if you want to do it. 
And of course he does have all of the uh, ports on his shoulders, forearms, down here, on his back, on the bottoms of his feet. So if you want to plug some weaponizers, some fossilizers onto him, you can do so. Now, in an undocumented feature, I hate undocumented features, put this crap in the instructions, but anyway. In an undocumented feature, uh, you can, if you don't like the sensor here on the side of his head, you can pop this off. And this can plug onto the back of his gun here. Just plug that back there. And then what you can do is you can open this up and take this and if you get the nose cone out of the way. You can take this and just bring that into the body and voila, it's now gone. So if you want a little cleaner look there on his shoulders, you can do so. Again, things you can do if you want to do it. So there you have that, and now for comparison. Here he is with Starscream. Here he is with G2 Megs. And here he is with Laser Optimus Prime. So there you go. So that is basically it for the robot mode, so let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's... So, what we want to do is, first off, just open up these panels on his forearms, flip the hand in, close that up, open that up, flip the hand in, and close that up. Next thing you want to do is come back here and pull down this entire back assembly. Flip his head in, and you want to take his chest and bring that up. You want to flip out this nose cone, snap that into place. You want to rotate this piece in, and then bring it up. Now, if you want to leave this piece on the gun, you can totally do so. I just didn't want to confuse people into thinking you had to remove this for transformation. You can totally swing all this in with it if you want, but I'm actually going to take it off because we're going to use this a little bit later to make things look a little bit better. But you want to swing that in, bring that up, and once you've done that, you can bring this whole back panel back up like so. Then you want to rotate him at the waist, and you're going to take your shoulders and bring them together, and you have a tab slot connection right there. Just tab it all together like that, and we pretty much have this upper section done, and now we move on to the lower body. So what's going to happen here is you're going to take this part of the leg and just kind of split this from the thruster. Just bring that up, and then you have this tail fin right here. You're just going to unthoop and then swing it up, and that will thoop into place right there. Bring the toe down, and second verse is like the first. Just separate the two halves here, and then unthoop here, and rethoop there. Point that toe down. Uh, take this panel here, bring that down. And you're going to bring this up, and you have a tab that will go right behind the kneecap here, and this section of the knee will go underneath the central section. So just kind of line it up, and that will just snap into place right there, and snap into place right there. And you also have a tab slot connection right here between the toe and the thruster. So just tab that in, and get that lined up, and tab that in right there, like that. Once you do that, just tab everything together. These wings here, you can fold underneath, like so. And you're going to take the arms and shift them down on this double hinge. And you have a tab slot connection between the forearms and the thighs there. So just tab that in on either side. Tab that in, like so. Make sure everything's nice and frozen. And last couple steps here is to bring out... The wings, now you have some thooping points here, you have to kind of flex this out a little bit to undo that thooping point, bring the wing up, and then unthoop it here, bring it down, and you have a tab that will go into this slot right here, this little one right there, and that will just tab right in, same thing on the other side, bring that up, bring that down, and tab it in, boop, like so. And there you go. There you have Jihaxis in his alt mode. You can get a pretty good spin out of him, too. There he is 
in his jet mode. And a good looking alt mode, in my opinion anyway. I quite, I quite like it. I like the design here. We're getting close to yes, yeah, so we're gonna take a look. Uh, to the details, we're gonna get that red there for the nose cone, and all this done in that tinted transparent plastic. You can see, he does kinda of have visible hair. Hey, same problem, he's just kinda of staring at you there. I guess you can turn his head around, so you don't see his face there, but it's kinda of funny, a little creepy too, but anyway. But, you know, pretty much a lot that we've already seen in robot mode, but it all comes together quite nicely, in my opinion. Got nice wings there, thrusters back there, done in red. Um, if you don't want to leave these little wings folded up, I mean, you can totally bring them out and kind of have that going on. I think that looks pretty cool, honestly. So, you know, things you can do if you want to do it. As always, it's yours. Display it however you wish. Prepare the instructions. They want to fold it in. But again, do what you want. Do whatever you want. Yes, he does have his arms just kind of hanging out down here, but, you know, it does make for kind of like a little handle here so you can, you know, whoosh him around. So, hey, negatives into positives. Negatives into positives. But, you know, Oh no, not too shabby, not too shabby in my opinion. And you know what you can also do? You can slide, like flying things should slide. Hooray, hooray for sliding, spinning things. And for comparison, uh, here he is with Starscream. Just so you can see how that works out there. So, there you go. Now as far as storage, for your weapons go, uh, what the instructions want you to do is I want you to take the smaller gun here, plug it onto the side, and when you take this larger gun and plug it up under the nose cone here, which you can totally do if you want to do it, but that doesn't really look all that elegant, not really, eh, don't really care for that, and that falls off anyway, um, you can plug this gun using that side tab, side post rather, you can plug that under there. Maybe that looks a little bit better. Not really. Uh, I don't know. But one thing you can do, um, you can't plug the gun in facing forward this way because that post, there's just stuff interfering here, so you can't do that. But you can plug it in backwards like that, and then you can bring a little sensor here from your shoulder and plug that in there. And I think that looks quite, quite cool and works quite well. Um, if you want, I guess you can plug this gun next to it like that maybe. Have that going on. There's no real elegant place for this to go. That's my thing. Is there's no real elegant place for this gun to go. It's just kind of a thing that just kind of hangs out. I don't know. Maybe plug it under there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really care about this little gun. I'm probably not even going to display him with that. But, you know, that, I think, actually integrates quite well, in my opinion. And in case you're wondering, yes, the thrusters are bluish compatible. Yes, they are. You can plug these blushes onto them like that. Like that, and like that, and have him bloosh off into space. So there you have G-Axis, and uh, yeah, nicely done figure in my opinion on the robot mode. I think looks really good. Love the design. Um, the alt mode looks quite good as well. I like how it all comes together. Transformation works well, smooth, fun, enjoyable. Overall, I think it's a solid figure. So there you go. Now I picked this up from Amazon. They do have them in stock right now. You can also get legacy figures from BigBadToyStore.com. As always, linked in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the legacy playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Legacy Voyager Class G Axis. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Palm in your face! You wanted to see me? Ah, g -Axis. yes, yes, um, I wanted to talk to you about your wardrobe. My wardrobe? Yeah, yeah, it just, it just doesn't scream Decepticon. Yeah, well, your wardrobe just screams in pain. Hey, I put a lot of thought into this. I doubt it.